This is atomic energy. This too is atomic energy, harnessed for peace to benefit all mankind. The master slave manipulator, for example, makes possible important industrial research. Scientists are protected behind glass and concrete walls three feet thick. To safeguard our fishing industry, thousands of trout and salmon are hatched each year and exposed to water contaminated with radioactivity. This is only one example of precautions that go on endlessly. In this case, there is not enough radioactivity to harm the fish or persons eating them. Biologists conduct similar experiments on sheep, feeding them pellets with radioactive ingredients. The paths of these substances are traced through the sheep's body. These experiments are of tremendous importance to biologists and doctors, increasing their understanding of the processes of human life. In the field of agriculture, an isotope hothouse was built. Radioactive forms of plants were grown. Later, they were examined to determine how radioactive drugs can be most effectively employed. Here in the medical division, radioactive liquids are used by atomic commission doctors in the fight against cancer, one of the dread diseases of mankind. Shielded by lead bricks, this solution is an important tool in cancer research. Here, a patient drinks an atomic cocktail of radioactive iodine in solution and then is placed on the examination table. Next, a radiation counter with a pen attached is lowered into place. The radioactivity in the drink, which has settled in the patient's thyroid gland, puts the pen in motion, drawing a picture of the diseased area. The light and dark pattern of the drawing reveals both healthy and cancerous tissues. With the atomic bomb, American scientists unlock the devastating might of the atom. Now they are engaged in the task of releasing atomic energy in ways of lasting benefit to our world. Truly a milestone of science and peace in this nuclear century.